So you're lost in an unfamiliar place and yeah, think you're good. walking in circles. Well, guess what? A new study has found you were right. What we found was that people do really walk in circles. So that has been like a, a, a myth, if you want to, for a long time. Um, people report that in, in all kinds of stories and television shows and in, in books. Uh, but no one really ever measured whether it's really true, whether people really walk in circles if they get lost. Researchers at the Max Planck Institute in Germany sent people to unfamiliar settings, the deserts, forests, and the like, and measured their walking trajectories with GPS. The study showed that natural surroundings had a large impact on the direction people took. The sun and moon, even clouds, played a factor in people's decision. Lou Van Damme tried the experiment while blindfolded. So at one point I noticed that the sun, I mean, you feel a bit of where the warmth is, but... I couldn't make any sense out of it. I mean, you just feel it changing and it, you, don't, you can't make any sense out of it. So. And while not everyone walked in circles, none of them walked in a straight line. In the, in the desert, the people who walked there pretty much did something random. They didn't walk in circles. They went in a general, generally in the same direction, but went left, right, left, right. So then we went to the forest to get more data, and then people actually did walk in circles. Researchers conducted the test to try to map how the human brain sorts out various senses to help guide people. But it also found you can't always trust yourself. So that's really important that, to realize that you, if, you, if, you, um, if you are basically in a potential dangerous situation in a desert or, or in a jungle, you really should uh, not just trust your senses, but take a GPS, take a compass. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press.